Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new lens option in Unreal Engine 5.6. First and foremost, big thanks to Big Dylan Deisler, the Unreal Engine Poseidon, for sharing this information with us. But basically, in Unreal Engine 5.6 main right now, there is a new bokeh option called the Petzval bokeh and that's what we're going to be taking a look at so so what i'm going to do is demonstrate what this looks like in my old meta human animation the hamlet one i don't know if you've seen this before but go check it out it's pretty cool it's using the meta human animator my helmet and xn suit that said let's go ahead and get to it i already have a camera i'm using the same exact project the same exact sequencer and just so that i can kind of show everybody Unreal Editor, it is 5.6 because I know I have a lot of haters and doubters out there. And if I go to the camera tracker here, this is just a regular lens. If I type in pet, you're going to now see this option called Petsville Bokeh. I will turn these on. Nothing happens yet. But as soon as I switch this to one, you're going to see that the bokeh, the depth of field, is starting to kind of curve. Now, if you've done photography or videography before and you're familiar with this Russian lens called Helios, it's one of my favorite cheap lenses you can get for like $46 or something. It kind of reminds me of the Helios lens. And what's funny about this is if you watch my reaction to the Witcher 4 trailer in one of the shots, I saw this and I said, hmm, this looks like uh, some kind of anamorphic lens distortion Helios effect. Now, I'm not sure if they use this Petzval Boca in that animated cinematic in Witcher 4, but man, if I had to guess, I would say they did. But anyways, let's go ahead and crack this up to two. So you got to see that it's starting to really warp that and it just renders beautifully. So let's play this back real quick. Flesh would melt and resolve itself into a dew. All right, so we're going to take a look at another example of this. But before we get started, I actually need your help right now. As you all know, I tried to get the RTX 5090 and I couldn't. And right now, the MSRP went skyrocketing. So that said, I need your help. If you have a device like a phone or PS4, PS5, Switch, I need you to log into Fortnite and actually check out the map my map that's trending right now and top rated and just like and recommend it. I'm about 800 players away from being able to afford the new MSRP for RTX 5090, which is $2,700. That's it. Let's go ahead and get back to it. So this is my samurai kind of cinematic that I was working on for a while. And I'm going to do this demo because you can really see what this new Petzval Boca is doing, which is kind of cool. So I have the same setup here. I have it a full frame and I'm just going to tweak it to like one and we'll change this to like two. And you really see how the depth of field is curving in this example here, a lot more so than earlier. And that's really cool, because honestly, with some distortion, and obviously I haven't tried it yet, some distortion and with some proper lens flaring, I'm not talking about JJ lens flare here, just kind of like small minimal ones, we can finally get some decent anamorphic look in Unreal Engine 5. And as you all know, I've been crying about this for the longest time. Now again, this feature may or may not make it to the final version of Unreal Engine 5.6, but every time I've done things like this, and I've covered new features that are coming, they usually go and come to 5.6. So most likely, this feature will stay, but it's really not that guaranteed. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all learned something new today, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.